Hello friends and welcome. My name is Kari and today I am excited to share with you what I consider to be the single most powerful probiotic you could be taking right now. More powerful than probiotic pill, homemade sauerkraut, more powerful than anything you could get in the store. What am I talking about? I'm talking about breast milk cultured yogurt. Now hold on, before you scoff and exit out of the video, give me just 30 seconds. I'm not talking about taking a gallon of breast milk and turning that into yogurt, although you could try, but you wouldn't really want to for reasons I'll discuss later. Um, no, what I am talking about is using a couple ounces of breast milk as a starter for yogurt to make a cultured, living, thriving yogurt that is going to be a powerhouse of probiotics. By inoculating regular store-bought milk with the power of breast milk and the probiotics found in breast milk, we are transforming regular ho-hum milk into a powerhouse of yogurt chock full of dozens and dozens of different probiotic strains specifically designed for the human microbiome. If that interests you, stay tuned. Okay, so if this sounds familiar, it might be because you have heard of something called l ruteri yogurt. l ruteri yogurt, l ruteri is a specific probiotic strain. And essentially what you do is you inoculate your yogurt with l ruteri. And l ruteri, the tablets that you can buy, serve as the starter for your yogurt. I will link a video, a wonderfully detailed video about how to make l ruteri yogurt in the description box below. So in, an, in, in essence, you're taking a probiotic pill and you're using that as your starter for your yogurt. So your next question might be, well, why not just use that? Why not just use a probiotic pill as our starter? Consider this. It not only matters how many units of the probiotic that we are getting, for instance, if we're getting 30 billion or 60 billion, that's only one aspect of harnessing the benefits of probiotics. What is just as important, if not more so important, is that we're getting a wide spectrum of different strain. If you have enough of one bacteria strain, what good is it supplementing with more of that strain? However, if you're lacking in a certain strain, then incorporating that into your diet somehow will help to fill in the gaps in your microbiome. And thus, that is the power of probiotics. That's where the real power lies. A high quality store-bought probiotic pill might have around 15 different strains of bacteria. Um, a homemade raw sauerkraut uh, is looking even better with about 30 different bacteria strains. Breast milk has over 200 different probiotic strains. That is a huge range of bacteria that is specifically designed for the human microbiome. Using breast milk as our starter, we are getting a huge spectrum of beneficial bacteria rather than just getting about 10 or 15 or maybe 20 different strains. We're covering the basis by getting a wide array and each strain serves a different function in the body. This is why it's so important that you have diverse strains in your diet. And this is a quick, efficient, and cheap way to get those strains. So you might be asking, why not just use and culture breast milk? Well, number one, have you tried pumping a gallon of breast milk? It's a lot of work and not easily accessible to many people. Second of all, it's actually not even necessary. Studies have shown that if you inoculate pasteurized breast milk with fresh raw breast milk, that it transforms the milk into live active cultures of the fresh raw breast milk literally transforming the milk. And that is what we are doing here. We're taking regular pasteurized milk and we're transforming it into a powerhouse of raw, live, active probiotics. There are so many different uses for this. 
if for instance you were not able to breastfeed your baby and they are now on solids you can introduce this yogurt into their diet to help them get those benefits that they missed out on as a baby or moms, if you are breastfeeding, this is a great way to ensure you are getting extra probiotics into your diet, which studies again have shown directly correlates to how many probiotics and beneficial bacteria we have in our breast milk. Um, you can use it as a digestive aid by having a little bit before each meal. You can make different products out of this as well. You can take it from yogurt and further culture it to go ahead and make a yogurt cheese that also comes with whey. There are so many different uses. Now that we've discussed why you would want to make this yogurt, let me show you how I do it. Okay friends, we are in the kitchen. I have about five ounces of fresh breast milk that was just kept in the fridge. You can take it from the freezer as well. That will work. And I have some regular pasteurized whole milk. Please try and use whole milk so that you get a creamier yogurt. You don't want to use non-fat milk. It will be much too watery. Put this onto the boil setting on your Instant Pot. If you don't have an Instant Pot, just bring up your milk to about 180 to 200 degrees Fahrenheit just to go ahead and make sure that you get a nice thick end product. The Instant Pot will beep and say yogurt once that is finished. Now I will go ahead and take the insert out and put my thermometer in because what we want is to bring down the temperature of the milk to about 100 degrees. Now use whatever yogurt maker you have or instant pot. Any instant pot should be able to maintain a temperature of around 100 degrees. Just keep an eye on it with your thermometer. If you have the yogurt setting, a low setting is preferred as you don't want to kill off any of the beneficial bacteria and some strains will die after about 103 104 degrees so 100 degrees is really optimal here you can also use a sous vide that will work as well I am actually going to transfer my milk into my bigger instant pot which has the sous vide option because my yogurt option doesn't have a low or a high temperature and I don't trust it. I would rather just make sure that that stays at the optimal temperature. Once your milk comes down to 100 degrees, pour in your breast milk and give it a nice stir. Now this will only need about six hours to firm up into a nice yogurt however a lot of strains will double if you just give them enough time a lot of lactobacillus strains for example double in about 20 to 60 minutes time so the longer you let this yogurt go the more cfus or units that you are going to have in your end product so now I'm just putting the sous vide option on for my Instant Pot. I'm setting it to 36 hours. However, I will show you what this yogurt looks like after just about 12 hours. But we're also going to make the cheese out of this. So I'm going to show you what it looks like at the 12 hour mark and at the 36 hour mark at 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Now something to note here which is really cool about this recipe is just like any other cultured yogurt or cultured dairy product you only need to have the starter once and then from then on you just save about a quarter cup of your previous batch to use as a starter for your next batch so you're only going to need to get your hands on a couple ounces of breast milk one time so long as you continue to save a little bit from each yogurt batch that you make you use that to create your next batch you do not need the full five ounces of breast milk. I did five ounces with a full gallon of milk. It really doesn't matter how much you have. I would say as long as you have one ounce for one gallon, it will culture into a yogurt. It just might take a little bit more time for the probiotics to eat their way through the sugar in that milk. 
So this is about six hours later. You can see how it's firmed up nicely, just like we would expect any other cultured yogurt to. I let it go for 12 hours, and this is what it looks like after it has sat in the fridge for another couple of hours, just to firm up the texture a bit. Whisking it thoroughly will smooth out any lumps, and this is a wonderfully thick cultured yogurt that is full of over 200 different probiotic strains. And it's a very mild tasting yogurt. It is not super sour. My kids love this. They eat it on a daily basis. This is a true superfood. Now you can go ahead and continue to ferment this up to 36 hours, at which point you will come out with a product that is like a yogurt cheese. This is like a kind of tart version of cream cheese. You can see it's kind of bubbled up on the top because the whey has separated out from all of the fat. So all of the cream is up at the top and the liquid whey is underneath this cap, if you will. And again, I put this directly in the fridge before touching it, that way it firms up a bit more. Generally, four to six hours is enough to firm up the yogurt or in this case the yogurt cheese. So you can see the whey poking in from the bottom. The whey can also be used as a starter for your next batch by the way so do not throw that away. There are a ton of different uses for whey. It is super healthy and still chock full of, of those probiotics that we really want in this product. What you can do from here is you can strain your whey out to get the cheese and the cheese itself it looks kind of weird. It's a little chunky but it's very creamy. If you take some between your fingers it is just smooth and creamy and very rich and a little bit tart as well the flavor in this is phenomenal put some herbs into it and some salt and you have a kind of spreadable cheese and don't forget to keep your way I've been enjoying this a couple ounces at a time before my meals it's lovely it's tart it's super refreshing and full of those benefits that we're wanting I hope you saw how simple and easy it is to make this super powerful probiotic filled yogurt. Again, this stuff is more powerful than anything you could possibly buy in the store. If you want to maximize your health and maximize the amount of probiotics you are going to get, I highly recommend you give this yogurt a try. If you do, leave a comment down below for us to let us know how it went. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.